June 21st, first day of summer, day 27, much like yesterday and the day before. We are proceeding northeasterly under working jib with the tiller lashed. That's why Laura's down here holding the camera and I'm holding the cat. Bree, how you doing? Bree's doing fine. Crawled out into the cockpit yet last night to look around. We've had a few glimpses of sunlight, but not enough to charge our batteries. So today we're going to have to run the engine, charge up our house batteries. Battery in the camera is getting low. Got to charge that up. Uh, and we're just proceeding uh, towards Cape Flattery. We've still got a long ways to go, but we will get there. We're making reasonably good time. Good distance runs, about 100 miles a day. And uh, we expect it'll be a, another couple of weeks before we get there. The trip's turning out to be much longer than we had planned. I don't know how Nick and Jenny made it in 28 days, but I guess they're better sailors than I was, than I am. So, but whatever. Or maybe they just had better weather. Uh, I must say I've had more pleasant trips, but the food's been good. This morning, Laura whipped up another nice breakfast of fried stuff. Eggs, onion, cheese, it was good. Ate it right out of the pan. Really liked it too. So, so here we are, all three of us in our little boat, heading towards the great Pacific Northwest Rendezvous in two days. Uh, don't think we're gonna make it, but that's okay. We'll be thinking about them. And um, as we continue, we continue to learn a lot. And, uh, the boat's keeping us reasonably comfortable. But now that we're able to lash the tiller and stay inside most of the time. It's essential to keep a good watch every 10 or 15 minutes, open the hatch, poke your head out, do a 360 degree check. Um, we're doing two hour watches. So every two hours we check everything on deck, do the watch change, take turns crawling into the sleeping bag. According to our thermometer, Excuse me, according to our thermometer, <clears throat> it's not that cold, but it sure feels cold. And that's what counts. It feels cold. It'd be good to have a little more sunshine today, but I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens. The barometer is rising. Again, don't know if that really means anything. We haven't, uh, haven't figured that out. It doesn't seem to make much difference whether it goes up or down at this point. I think, uh, I think we're just bumping along the top of the North Pacific High here. And as we go nearer and farther, the barometer goes up and down, it's, which is probably a good thing because it's, uh, uh, we're keeping in the, the right zone for the winds that we want. We have a mild westerly uh, pushing us along. We've been averaging four and a half to five knots. Uh, last night, the wind dropped quite a bit, but uh, uh, we still made we made progress, slow progress. But uh, we uh, have decided we're not going to increase sail at night. Uh, go out on deck and put sails up and take sails down unless we absolutely have to. So uh, we haven't changed our sail configuration in a couple of days. So it's important to check for chafe on the lines and uh, and that sort of thing. In the morning, uh, I've had to, you know, swig up the sheet, and, uh, tighten a couple of things up. They tend to loosen as they get wet and uh, stretch a little bit, just a tiny bit, because we're using we're using good lines, good rope, New England ropes, uh, stay set for the for the sheets and stay set X for the halyards. The halyards haven't loosened up at all. Uh, sheet a tiny bit. Uh, I don't know what kind of line is on the. Um, on the tack down haul, that one loosened up a bit. I had to tighten that one up too. But it's just part of working the boat. Keeping everything tight, keeping an eye on everything, watching for chafe. 
Uh, we're especially concerned about the radar reflector. It was uh, rubbing in a couple of spots, so we've moved that up and down a couple of times. And of course, the halyard that it's on is stretched. It's just a little uh, polyester flag halyard stuff that you, you know, a little eighth inch line that you buy. You know, might buy it for clothesline or something like that. So anyway, here we go. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip. That's our lift from this traffic port aboard this tiny ship. Hey!